I got this new thing. I got back on Twitter, right? Because Mastodon is, um, as someone said, just incredibly earnest. It, it's not, you know, fun. It's boring. Uh, so I'm back on Twitter and I realised something that I could do for my mental health on Twitter is block people a lot, just lots of blocking. And how do I decide who I'm going to block? Well, I look at a tweet. It's generally not a tweet. It's a reply to a tweet. I look at a reply and I think, no. And instead of going any further with that thought, you know, why no? Is there something inside me that's blocking perhaps some, you know, truth? that from this person's perspective, they hold. Instead of that, after a long time of being on social media, I know that the smart thing to do is simply assume they're a cunt and block them. They're a shit cunt. Just assume that, save yourself. You know, in real life, it's best to go halfway with people, at least go halfway Turn off your ego and meet that person with an open heart. Online, fuck all those cunts. Fuck them to death. So on Twitter, block, 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 block. And it's nice, like, you know how people like popping bubble wrap? I don't. It doesn't do anything for me. People like, you know, different kinds of... Little, like, very simple, like, almost, not even, it's not even a game. It's just something you do sort of repetitive, repetitively and it calms you down. Well, for me, it's it's getting on Twitter and blocking hundreds of people over a 10-minute period. It just, it's cleansing like Ritalin. It just clears away the fog. It's just me telling myself, yes, yes, Sean, you're right. They're all cunts. They're all out to get you, and you are destroying them. The other day, I saw that there was another mass shooting in the United States, and I thought, hmm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look at some dead bodies, and I did, and it was awful, and I stopped looking at the dead bodies and I said I can't look at that that's I'm a human being I don't need to see that but the important thing is at the end of the day is that I got to see some dead bodies um you know for years decades really I've been trying to find um footage online of people jumping out of the twin towers uh, on the day of 9-11 and I just can't and you know where I'm going with this is um, there's a lot of moralising that goes on, isn't there? We, we live in a, a world where homeless people don't matter, where poverty is just, it's just assumed that poverty, is, it's just a thing. They're gonna, there is, there's always going to be poor people. It's inevitable. And not only are poor people inevitable, we fucking hate them. Fuck you. How dare you? You're making me feel bad. You uh, or, or, or I just don't like looking at you. You're, you're, you are disgusting, right? And, that, and that's a norm, that's normal, that's this society we have here. And in, inside that society, which is, you, you, it literally sacrifices children. It sacrifices the lives of children to poverty. Children, poverty, that's your future. Uh, we look at the young adults today who will never own a home, never own a home, never own a home, they're being sacrificed. And children, children will never own a home. Children are being sacrificed. It's a child sacrifice society. Children's lives are sacrificed to the economy. We aren't, we aren't any more, you know, advanced or spiritual or sensitive or compassionate than, you know, other societies that have sacrificed children to, to you know, various gods. You're taking them to a temple and 
you know, slit them open and pulled out their hearts and eaten it or what, whatever you do in those situations. I mean, uh, you, uh, you, uh, um, you, you, uh, you know, enjoy yourself. And people do enjoy themselves. People do enjoy sacrificing children. They do enjoy knowing that young people are unemployed so that they can then yell at those young people, get a fucking job, you piece of shit. And when the young people say, but I can't get a job because I'm unemployed and also I'm disabled because being unemployed has made me so mentally ill and uh, physically just destroyed... Uh, by you know, poverty, lack of nutrition, you know, I suffer undernutrition and malnutrition and this has caused all of my health shit to just compound and get worse and really I've, I'm fucked, I'm absolutely fucked. And it's so much fun to say to these people who need help, <laughs> well, the main problem is actually you're a piece of shit and I fucking hate you. So this is the society that people are concerned might collapse. OK, you know, when you say to people, well, I don't think we need the police. The police don't do anything but create further violence and cycles of violence and endless drama and hatred and torment and disaster and cataclysm and you know, horror. And they say, well, OK, that's all true. But if we got rid of the police, society would collapse. This is, and I have to ask you, are you, so you're saying that this, like this one, this society that, like just now in Australia, unemployed people have been told they'll be given $40 more a fortnight, which is essentially nothing. That's four loaves of bread, maybe. This society that's given poor people enough money to let poor people know that they can go fuck themselves. This society that said, you are shit, you are nothing. You're worried that without the police, this society could become bad? That is whatever that is. Fuck, people are amazing. I'm on Twitter, I'm blocking people because I can't stand to see the waste, racist white working class, uh, which on Twitter seems to be almost a majority of women, oddly enough, backing the current government to the hilt and angrily telling people who are desperate that they should be quiet and let the government do its, do its job, which is apparently the government's job Okay, so I actually, see, this is where I come to, I have a problem here because, you know, with the police, okay, I've worked it out. I've worked out the police. I've worked the police out. The police are an unaccountable organisation that lives outside society because it's unaccountable to society. And so, therefore, it should be absolutely abolished because that's fucking evil and there's no amount of good work that the police do that outweighs that level of unaccountability like no cunt fuck you take off your uniform walk nude through the street into the fucking uh, you know the distance uh, and have a think about what you've done in australia we now are very much at the point and probably always have been i mean christ you know, this is the problem with thinking in terms of progress is that you think things are changing or have changed or... Okay, well, all right, we're confusing the issue. Where I'm at now with my thinking is the government are very much like the police. They are unaccountable to the population. They are unaccountable to poor people and therefore should be uh, abolished. I don't know how you get rid of um, the government I don't know how you get rid of big business. I don't know how you get rid of everyone, everyone in charge of everything. Uh, but it seems like that's the only fucking work of life, you know. People say climate change, it's one of the hard problems. It's a, it's a hard, hard problem. And the only, like, we need, we need artificial intelligence to help us deal with, with the hard problem of climate change. 
which, which is, it's not just giving up, it's, um, you know, that mentality is coming from, we would rather use artificial intelligence to not deal with the problem of climate change than say out loud, we're not going to do anything about climate change because we're not actually in the business of doing things. We're in the business of taking things away from people. We're in the business of taking things away from people. We're in the business of crushing people. We're in the business of destroying folks. We're, and, you know, yes, so again, I don't know, you know, what you do about any of this. But see, I think one of, you know, the beautiful things in life is that when you have an extremely, you know, cynical view of those in power that you've thought through, you know, you've got your ducks in a row, you know you're not talking shit, you've been around the block a few fucking times, I didn't come down in the last fucking shower, you know what I'm fucking talking about, all these cunts are fucked. Well, what you've done there is... Um, through a fairly enlightened process, you've arrived at the same mentality as probably anyone on the face of the planet who has to struggle. Because all this shit's obvious, isn't it? So I, I guess where I'm at is we, we really do have to destroy all of it. There's nothing you or, or I can do to, you know, hustle and grind. There's no attitude that we can, you know, bend our brains into. There's no emotional state we can get to. There's no diet. There's no exercise regime. There's no path. There's no plan. There's no map. There's no idea. Uh, there is just chaos and mayhem and madness and fucking dog shit and that's the situation and that's the thing to just, you know, quietly um, just let, let that percolate through your... Um, and I, I guess, you know, just, you know, don't be in denial about it. Don't, don't, don't think, well, who knows? I mean, people are astonishing... People are amazing. They can do all sorts of things. If people will surprise you. Of course people will surprise you. Of course people are amazing. Of course hope springs eternal. And of course this fucking whole global system is... Well, whole, whole global system. What am I saying? The American in particular. The, the, the US empire. Uh, it's just a machine for sucking the life joy and um, pleasure out of people um, so that they lose all ability to even imagine struggling and fighting back. And that feeling that you get when you think about all these terrible things and the inevitability of the awfulness of it, that's exactly the feeling they want us to have. They're stoked when we have that feeling that there is no possible future for us that's any fucking good. That's exactly the feeling they want us to have. And that's that's just a fun thing to think about. It's fun to think that the shit feeling we get is exactly what they want us to feel so that we won't fight for our future. You know, <laughs> when I started uh, recording today, I had an idea that perhaps uh, I might say something funny. <laughs>